So today's project is my uh, digital logic experiment board, called it uh, my digital sandbox. And basically, what we have are digital logic chips. We have an AND, a NAND, an OR, a NOR, and a simple inverter chip. Then we have some pins here. These are just shorted vertically, so you can you know hook different things together. We have four buttons that will pull things low. And we have LEDs, which will light when the proper uh, situation is met. Runs off of 5 volts. You could probably run it up to 9 volts. Really wouldn't hurt anything, but I wouldn't go any higher than that. So uh, let's take a look at how I made this. It's pretty simple. And I think it's a neat little learning board. So here's the schematic. I mean, it's super simple. We have our power section here. We have our switch section here. We have our LED section here. And then we have each of our digital. So for instance, we take a closer look here at this NOR. You can see I just have the VCC going to our five volts. The ground goes to ground. And then each of these are broken out, one A, one B, and one Y. That's all there is to it. They each come down here to these little breakouts. So that's really all there is to the uh, schematic. It wasn't very hard to draw at all. And here is our PCB. Again, nothing you know, nothing spectacular here. Just a simple learning board to make things easy for everybody. It's one of the things I try and promote in this channel is you know education for everyone. If you want to learn. Uh, digital logic, Boolean algebra, you know, something like this is a, a great way to go ahead and, and do that. All right, let's uh, get the boards ordered. So once again, ordering from PCBWay couldn't be any easier. Click on instant quote. I like to do the quick order. Let's click on that. And you're going to add your Gerber file to it. Let's see, where's mine at? Digital Sandbox. There you go, it shows you your files. You know, you can uh, choose how many you want. Pick your colors. And, you know, order them. Really, really simple. Nothing to it. Now, I went over the... Uh, 100 millimeter so these boards are slightly more expensive stay under 100 millimeter you get five of them for five dollars can't beat that now i will put a link down below where you can download the gerbers for free and have it made uh hopefully here at pcb way okay let's power this thing up and uh, have a look just powering it from my uh bench power supply now you see we have all of these uh, LEDs here, and they all go to this jumper here, marked LEDs 1, 2, 3, 4. So if I just plug into there, and then the keys again are high, so if I plug in here, you can see the LED lights. There's LED 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then again, the buttons bring it low. So just a simple demonstration of an AND. So there's one A, one B, and then we'll take one Y and bring it to an LED and it should turn on because all the conditions are met. And then if we click either button, of course it goes out. Simple. Uh, NAND will be op opposite of that, or will be either one of them turns on and you're good to go. Nor uh, neither one of them on. And then the inverter just allows you to switch things back and forth. And then what I've done here, let me unplug this. I've just made this like a little jumper thing. And they're, they're uh, connected vertically. So that way you can plug in you know your ins on one side and your outs on another side 
and simply go wherever you like to go. Yeah, I know I didn't put these in uh, sockets, but I didn't feel like wasting a bunch of sockets on these. I've got plenty of little digital logic chips sitting around. So that's about it. Just wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, if you're interested in learning digital logic, this is an easy way to do it. You can play around, see what different configurations uh, cause the LEDs to light or not light. And uh, super easy to use. This is pulling 70 milliamps and uh, powered off, like I said, power off a 9 volt battery if you want. I'd like to thank PCB Way for sponsoring this video, and I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Big thanks to my patrons. If you're not a patron, please check out the uh, patron page. A buck a month helps keep things going. That's it. I'm out. Peace.